Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Man, I know I'm late. I'm late with this news. Been busy all day, but obviously, many of y'all know already, Marshawn Lattimore restructures his contract. I honestly thought the Saints were going to wait until the very, very last minute to do this uh, because obviously, $18 million is a big, big number. And I thought they could get 2-0, you know, right at the cap without restructuring Lattimore and then kind of saving him for the, the big bang at the end. But they go it on, knock it out the way. That's 18 more million dollars the Saints save, you know, towards the cap. And that basically puts us at zero. I know they're not at zero yet. I think they're like within 5 million. But this is basically at zero. This is just, like I say, protocol. They just have to get the guys in to get the paperwork done or whatever the protocol is. And the Saints are basically under the salary cap or basically at zero, whatever you want to call it. And for a mini recap, obviously, Michael Thomas, Ryan Ramchick, Andres Pete, they were the first wave of restructures. Cam Jordan and Tano, they were next. Then you had Elvin Kamara. He restructured his deal. And now you're on to Marshawn Lattimore, who finally restructures his deal. That puts the Saints within $5 million. Um, You obviously have Anya Mata, Demario Davis, Will Lutz, and many more people that can get restructured. Roby can be released for $10 million as well. The Saints are honestly in a perfect spot. I know it sounds crazy. If other NFL fans are in here, I know Kai Harley, Mickey Loomis, they've done it again. They're going to create $20 million in cap space, taking uh, $79 million over the cap to probably creating between $15 to $25 million, you know, under the cap in one all season in one month. That's absolutely insane. Once again, the Saints will do it again, but it's no surprise to us. But the biggest news coming out of these restructures and these things will be the Nick Underhill tweet that I saw earlier today. And it's very, very big. Nick Underhill tweets, who's obviously the go to Saints, you know, Twitter and media at the moment. He tweets, the Saints have the moves available to get more than 20 million under the cap without extending to Ron Armstead. I'll repeat, the Saints have the moves available to get more than 20 million under the cap without extending to Ron Armstead and boy this is big news this is great news this is the best news we've gotten so far this offseason basically this means if the Saints want to reach sign to Ron Armstead they can if they want to make all of these moves which they probably won't as Nick Underhill even stated himself they probably won't make all of these moves but if they extend Armstead that creates 13 million in cap minus his um, cap hit number so if his cap hits eight um, that only creates five million Cap hits 10, it creates 3 million, so on and so forth. So the Saints have options if they want to resign him, bring him back to a big deal. It's possible. Hopefully it's a short deal because obviously we're already cap strapped, hand quotations. It all depends on what the Saints think, man. Uh, with these moves, it's going to tell you a lot. If they think they can make a run at things in the NFC South and the NFC, I think they'll extend him, make the cap work, and just push all this money back for another couple years while this team is still intact, while you still got guys like Cam Jordan, Demario Davis, Armstead, uh, and this defense, just intact, offensive line, intact for the most part. Michael Thomas, Elvin Kamara, with all these weapons, they think they can extend this, you know, process of restructuring and dead money and things like that for another two to three more years. I think they'll do it. They think they want to just kind of get ahead of some of these things. They won't restructure those guys and kind of let the cap um, kind of come back to where, you know, normal normalcy, I would say. Either way, it's options. I'll touch more on it later, uh, maybe tomorrow. I just want to get this quick video out, man. I've dropped a video every day this month. It's 12 days. I couldn't go today without one, so I'm definitely going to get this out there. Like I said, it was busy all day. But once again, Marshawn Lattimore restructures his contract, basically putting the Saints at a little over $5 million over the cap. That is basically zero. We're basically out of cap hell, as everyone seems to say every all season because they don't know what they're talking about. And let's see what we do, man. We got options. We got options. The Saints can get up to $20 million in cap space. They can use that on Teron Armstead. And they can still have $20 million after that. Or they can have more than that or less than that, depending on how they you know, structure his contract. And we can have money to sign Marcus Williams. We can have money to sign other free agents. It's options out there. We'll see what the Saints do, man. I'm looking forward to it. I'm just glad that we have the options available to us. Mike Desecki, <coughs> cough, cough. But we'll see what the Saints do in the offseason, man. And, hey, this the Boot Tragedies once again, and I'm out.